Hey, what's up, y'all? Hold on. Let me take the sunnies off. I want to thank you eye to eye for checking out Sway's Universe. And I appreciate it. We got so many videos we want you to see. So push that notification button for me. Do it now and enjoy the video. Peace. This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your fuck. Wake your fuck ass up. That cross star job. Family guy, man. That's what a classic, man. Uh, yeah. Season 16. October 1st, 16. Wow. wow. What Sweet the hell, 16. man? Are you That's just gonna, insane. You're going to ride this out till the wheels Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. I, 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 I don't know what else to do. <laughs> <laughs> what I loved about uh, and still like about Family Guy is I was a, a Flintstones fan. Yep. Yep, me too. You're a Flintstones fan? I loved the Flintstones, yeah. Me too. Yeah. Do you know, have you heard about the conspiracy theory between Flintstones and the Jetsons? No. What's that? The Flintstones are the poor people and the Jetsons are the rich ones. Oh, <laughs> that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, I guess that makes sense, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Gravel pit. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Are yeah. you excited for flying cars? Basically sprockets. <laughs> I I mean, you know, there. You think we'll ever have flying cars? You they think, say it's coming. Really? Yeah. You think you've seen how people fucking drive? They're gonna give somebody something they can plow into at the side of a building. <laughs> You think anyone is ever going to prove that? Listen, the driver's test is going to be harder. If they're self-driving, I guess we can. We'll have flying cars. But yeah. I, I, my God, I would be scared to death. I wouldn't do it. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. Did you, you ever get try. fooled? Like you get get on stage and like tell jokes or say something or sing. Or have you ever gotten booed? Like, what was your worst night in entertainment? I, you know, mm. I don't remember ever getting booed. Okay. Yeah. I. I. I I'm. Lucky, I, you know, I usually have a few drinks before I go out, so maybe Good it happened, I don't you. remember. Yeah. Ooh, what's your drink of choice? Uh, Jack Daniels. Get it! Yeah. <laughs> Jackie Cool. Well, I'm JD. Speaking of movies, because... Uh, God, what was the sound if I had said something else? Well, was... <laughs> 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 well speak, speaking of movies, because I love A Million Ways to Die in the West, and the bloopers were hilarious, too, because you, probably out of everybody, could not keep a straight face with everybody doing the jokes on set. Yeah. I was wondering, were you having the same problem when doing Orville with just, like, trying not to laugh? Yeah, there's there 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 is a lot of that. There's a lot of that. I mean, it's, with television, your your schedule is so much more condensed, so there's no time to laugh. Really, yeah. you just kind of have to keep going. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, it was fun. Look, it's 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 one of the most fun casts I've ever worked with, and and you know, it's it's a true ensemble show. So every single and it's episodic. So each week, a different member of the cast kind of takes the reins yeah. and and becomes the center mm. of the show. So it's. It's uh, it's it's a little old school that way, and, and I, I don't want to necessarily call it a spoof of Star Trek because there are some serious moments, even though there are a lot of comedy and funny things going on. But are you going to address all the current stuff that's going on within our country or around the world? Because you do to deal with you know transgender issues, gay marriage, and things like that. Are you going to look at other you know like DACA or or any hurricanes or I don't yeah. know whatever? I think any good sci-fi show does that without thinking. I, th I, th I think that's just part of the DNA of of what a show of this type does so and you know it, it's the nice thing about about this world and you know you're in a fictional universe is you can kind of go at these things a little more directly mm. but because you're working in an allegorical framework it it's it doesn't seem like you're being as preachy when maybe in fact you are mm -hmm. but it's, it's always a balance it's like what's where where do you get on the soapbox and where do you kind of put it all out there and let the viewers decide for themselves? And that just varies from script to script. Mm -hmm. Seth MacFarlane is here. Are you, are you this fun and entertaining on a date? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Do you I'm get very, nervous? Very, it's very dry, isn't it? No. <laughs> no, that's not what I was like. I wasn't being sarcastic you're talking at about all. The, you're talking about the date? <laughs> but like when you take out a woman, because I think sometimes if you're a big hotshot in Hollywood, even if you're dating someone that's an equal, there's some type of expectations because there's so much perception. Do you find that in your personal life at all? Yeah, you know, y y there are times that you, when you're, you're like, hey, be funny, funny man. Yeah. yeah. You know, <laughs> be, be, be funny over this rosé. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, occasionally, not not too often. I I I, uh, I I think that's probably a red flag if you're kind of expected to dance and make jokes when, you know, you're paying for dinner. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, at least he pays, though. We found right. that out about Seth MacFarlane. <laughs> yeah, you okay. spoke about being a provider. I'm a supporter. provider. I'm a payer. We trick. We trick when we go out. Oh, wow. Yeah, we trick it off. Uh, Mike from Atlanta's on the line. <laughs> Seth just laugh. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> whatever, say, whatever Sway says. That's what we do, man. Hey, hey Mike, what up, man? Big Mike, what's, up? what's going on, man? man look who, the morning, hey, family. How's it going? Mike, who else is going to bring you Seth MacFarlane, man? Nobody, dog. I'm. It's crazy. I actually got in because I had a Family Guy moment yesterday with my girlfriend, 
It's it's hilarious. So I'm 29, she's 21. And we were talking about something, and she was like, yeah, Kumo D was there before. And I looked at her and said, Stewie, you don't even know who Kumo D is. And we just busted out <laughs> laughing. But anyway, what I wanted to ask. Why am I laughing? Though? All right, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to ask, um, are y'all coming back out with uh, the Cleveland Brown show, man? You know, we – we uh, it's funny. I get asked about the Cleveland show all the time, and, and – uh, I, I, you know, there, there are no immediate plans. I mean, they, 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 they pulled us, uh, and, and I don't know, I, there's, I don't know, maybe they'll bring us back at some point, but I haven't heard any peep out of them yet. But yeah, people still seem to really dig that show. I mean, that's, that's all, it's kind of cool. Cause we, we, we were, you know, we loved the cast and we loved the writers and we, you know, it, it was a great bunch of people and, uh, yeah, look, I'd, I'd love to see that show come back. Sure. Hey man, Mike, thanks for your call, man. I'm glad you got to talk to Seth. Remember how that happened. All right, we got uh, <laughs> M- Messina's on the line from uh, South Carolina. Good morning. Yep. Good morning. Good morning. How is everyone? Everybody's well. Hey, hey say what's hey, up hey, to Messina, hey, y'all. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Great. Um, I freaking love Seth McFarlane. You're a fucking comical genius. You're oh, amazing. You're too kind. Um, and I'm going to keep it a thousand. I don't really care too much about Cleveland show. We can keep that where it's at right now. I'll just watch the replay. I'm dead. Oh, my God. I'm dying, dying, dying. I appreciate, I appreciate your honesty. Um, but I wanted to also uh, let you know that I love your voice. Coming from um, a choral background, I sing opera myself. Um, I have a lot of different backgrounds when nice. it comes to music. I fucking love your voice. You're Thank amazing. You. I mean, you're always on pitch. You're always perfect. I mean, it's. It's great. I just love the things you do with music and, and throughout the entire show. Well, you're Thank you're, you you're very, very kind. I appreciate that. From from an opera singer. Thank you so much. And, and know that he will treat you for the meal if y'all ever go out on a date. <laughs> okay, Messina? <laughs> <laughs> so what you ain't like about the Cleveland? So, no, <laughs> right. no date is gonna be like, about that. Right. What's what's good with you? What's like, yeah, yeah, you do. Everybody else it's loves my shit. What's, what's good with you? Like, Focus group. Hey, before you go, Seth, we got this game we prepared especially for you. I know oh you love God. games. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, and it's called <laughs> Keep It Real. Keep It Real. <laughs> Get real scary. You ready? Quick, quick right, question. Bring quick it on. Let's go. First question: What did you do with your first big paycheck? Oh my God! Uh, paid off my student loans. Damn. Yeah. That's I, who the dream. I, oh. I couldn't. No one would give me a credit card, and then the next day they would. <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> really, that is the truth. Wow. Wow. He paid off his student loan. Damn student loans, yeah. man. That's a part of everybody's story. Ain't it? <laughs> Even if you didn't go to college. We're all paying student that loans. Student loans, man. Yes. All right. We talked about the FCC earlier. So, was there a specific joke that went a little too far that didn't make it into a series or film you were involved in? Um. Yeah. There. Yeah. There was. And oh man, I it, it was in Ted too, and I can't tell you what it was because because <laughs> there'll be a million fucking think pieces about it uh, the next day. But yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's man. it's no. It, yeah. There, there was one that that. Uh, yeah. Can, can I, I gotta us, give you that. Can you tell us what was it in relation to? Yeah. The context. Yeah. It was. Sex um. Or... It was. I I think it got replaced with the Steven Tyler joke that was in there, but uh, it it's. Yeah, I can't even, I can't, can't even, even, yeah. Can't even, okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. I've never seen him so scared. <laughs> of, all, of all the people who scared to speak out. I can't out. even dance around this shit. He like, speaks out no, about no, everything. No, everybody's got a goddamn blog. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. You're not going to do it? Oh, man. If you ever wanted to do it, this yeah. is where it could have happened. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck maybe, yourself. Maybe, maybe, man, you maybe, got maybe, fuck you money. Maybe when the mics are off. Okay. All right. All right. All right. That's good enough. All right. Is it true that you're not a fan of The Godfather? I, you know, I, I've never been able to get through The Godfather. I was a big fan of The Sopranos, mm-hmm. which I know it's strange. I, the Sopranos, you know, is, was was birthed by The Godfather, but I just I can't get into it. And I'm every writer that I know thinks I'm crazy because I, of I it. can't either. So I'm yeah. I'm there with you. I'm sorry. Yeah. Being a huge fan of Frank Sinatra, would you portray him in a biopic? Hmm. Yeah, sure, absolutely. I can see it. Okay. It's it's it you know be hard to do a Sinatra biopic because you're you're you know the career was what like five decades mm-hmm. so he started in his twenties and ended when he was eighty so how do you how do you do that makeup yeah makeup makeup yep. yeah y'all do that on Oracle yep. so you're good. yep or or three different actors yeah, yeah three or three different actors see that you know? that's why he does what he does and we do what we do I wouldn't have thought of three different actors <laughs> Seth I want to say this to you <laughs> oh God. <laughs> You look great, man, in person, hey, man. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, man. You look great, brother. You're, you're, you're hey, a man. beautiful man. Yeah, man. 
I don't want to. I'm sitting there looking at him, man. This dude is perfect right now. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, this this is on no sleep. So you're 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 very kind to say. Yeah, so. I'm getting the worst you right now, and you look. <laughs> this is the it? worst to me. Wow. Okay. Good. And he treats on dates. Hey. Uh, Seth MacFarlane, ladies and gentlemen, you got to come back and hang out with Anytime. us, brother. The Orville premieres Anytime, Sunday, man. September 10th, 8 p.m. on Fox. Cool. Good to have you on this. His album comes out Pleasure. next week. That's right. The album is out next week. Bum, bum. <laughs> Kid is killing it right now. All Good right, we got game. Celebrity Wire up next. Yep, threesome's gone wrong. Let's talk about it's it. Shay 45. It's Sway in the morning. Only on Shay 45.